Today, we're gonna look at the Bottom Imperial Tea Maker. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. This is the Brew Bruh channel. I am Hurston, and I will be your guide to brewing whatever we brew better. This particular channel focuses on coffee, tea, and infusion beverages. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at another way to brew tea with the Vodum Imperial Tea Maker. Now, this particular type of device is not unique to this one brand. Uh, so if you're kind of trying to figure out, well, do I have to buy that particular model? No, not necessarily. There are other manufacturers and other brands that make this particular type of device. Um, but there will be a link in the description below if you're wanting to pick up this model. What's very cool about this is that it is self-contained. It doesn't have a bunch of extra parts that come with it. Um, it, it actually has a very simple way of brewing the tea. And uh, let's take a quick look at how it works. And so, of course, there's a lid and then you would open the lid up. And then inside of this reservoir is where you would actually put the tea. So I'm going to try and bring this up to the camera and hopefully it'll focus. So I, I think that you all will be able to see that there's a bit of a meshing component there at the bottom of this reservoir. And what that's intended to do is to keep the tea leaves from dropping down into the tea. Now, why do I say dropping down? I say dropping down because this device works very similar to the Clever coffee dripper, which I'll have the card pop up just above my head here if you're wanting to figure out what that device is and how it works. But where it's very similar is that the tea actually steeps inside of this, um, this device. And then once you've allowed it to steep for the specific amount of time that that particular tea needs to steep for, you can actually take this device and put it on top of a glass. And once you do, there's a little triggering mechanism underneath. So I'll try to see if you guys can see that. So this little mechanism at the bottom, that moves and that triggers the the tea to actually drop down out of the bottom of the tea maker right into the glass. So really, really simple device. Doesn't require a ton of in-depth explanation. Um, you'll wanna be mindful of making sure that once you're done brewing your tea that you go ahead and wash it out and rinse it out because um, you don't want that to kind of stay in here and maybe sully or alter the taste of any teas that you drop in after the fact. Um, but this will be, of course, one of the primary brewing mechanisms that we'll be utilizing for tea. Um, the last method is a relatively simple one and probably one that you've seen many times before, and it's simply just a mesh brewing ball. So I don't know that I'm necessarily going to do a video about it because I feel that most of us have, have used that method to steep with before. If you know of any other ways to steep tea that I might be missing, I am absolutely open to hearing more of those, um, hear, hearing about more of those methods. Drop that comment uh, below and let me know if you found other ways to brew tea that um, are, are a little bit more than what I've discussed so far just within the last couple of videos. Um, but this is a very cool device and here in a moment we're gonna take a look at what it takes to actually utilize it. Again, this won't be super long and drawn out because to be quite frank, this device is really simple to use. So here we are taking a look at using the Vodum Imperial Tea Maker. Okay. Using the Vodum Imperial Tea Maker. Again, a really simple device to actually use because there's not a ton of moving parts and not a, th a lot of things that become detached and make it more difficult to brew with this than it may seem. Just as I stated in the video before this one, the big thing about tea is the amount. So how much tea you're actually using. Then you wanna be mindful of your water temperature. And then you wanna be mindful of your steeping time. Those three things together play a huge role in the actual flavor profile of the taste of the tea. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take the tea and drop it into the bottom Imperial Tea Maker. And 
um, as it settles in the main reservoir. It doesn't really matter whether or not it's even. I'm not actually brewing a ton of tea in this particular case. I just wanna make sure that I have enough for a glass for demonstration purposes. My water has reached an appropriate steeping temperature. I'm keeping it at around 175 because I am brewing a green tea and I don't want it to alter the tea flavor more than it should by having the water be too hot. And so I'm actually gonna go ahead and pour that water inside of the bottom tea maker and allow it to steep for, I'm looking at around two minutes and 30 seconds to two minutes and 45 seconds. I'm still kind of playing around with that steep time for green tea for me. I do tend to like it a little bit stronger than most. Um, but keep in mind, and in most cases, especially with loose leaf teas, you're actually gonna see a recommended amount of steeping time and temperature on the bag or the container that it comes in. So kind of scan those bags and or containers to determine uh, what information they may have disclosed about the best way to get the most out of the tea that you're actually brewing in that spe specific period of time. Okay, now that the tea has steeped for an adequate amount of time at the right water temperature, I'm actually gonna take the bottom and put it on top of my little kind of glass mug here. And once I place it down the bottom, the little trigger at the bottom actually um, forces the tea out of the bottom and into the glass. And that is it. I can take it from there and just enjoy it. Again, I wanna make sure that I rinse out my bottom, get all of the, the tea remnants out of the device because I don't want it to impact the next time that I'm actually brewing some tea. So that's it. This particular video is gonna be really, really short because again, this device is very simple to use. It doesn't have, like I said before, a lot of moving parts and a lot of extra things that you have to be mindful of. The big thing here is making sure, again, your actual amount of tea, your water temperature, and then your actual steeping time, and that will allow you to get the most out of the tea that you're actually consuming um, in this particular part of the brewing process. That kind of wraps up the brewing methods for now, unless I get more recommendations from you all. If you haven't up to this point, please do click the subscribe button down below. Hit the thumbs up for me. Help me get seen by YouTube's algorithms. I want to make sure that more people are aware of these different ways to brew and consume their brewed beverages better. And by all means, share it with a friend, someone that you know that likes tea, that likes coffee, that likes infusion beverages. I believe this is the channel for them and the community for them to kind of um, get involved with. And I do want to take this time to say, you know, there's not going to be any shaming on this channel. If you are a lover of really popular brands, by all means, we're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at different uh, coffees and teas from other places that you may pick them up. So gas stations as well as grocery stores, as well as um, open air markets if that's available in the city that you live in. We're going to take a look at teas and coffees and infusion beverages from all types of places. So please share this with any friend of yours, family member that may be a part of this world and may really enjoy coffee, tea, and infusion beverages and hope that they will come in, join the community, and gain something out of it. Today's video, again, is a short one, but I'm hoping that you found a new way to brew your tea that maybe you weren't aware of before. I am using the bottom version of this. There are multiple versions of this for different brands that are out there. They all function in very similar ways. They might just have a little bit of different form factor, but it's all the same. And I hope that you found that this brewing method to be interesting, something intriguing, something you deem sh uh, shareable with others. I hope that you you found that it was something that you didn't know before and that you feel empowered to maybe go out and try using a brewer like the Vodum Imperial Tea Brewer um, on your own while you're at home or at work. And, and hopefully you get the most out of your brewing experience. And then you take that information and share it with someone else. Again, that's the entire point of building a sense of community is taking information and sharing it with others um, that you might deem it uh, helpful to and for. And with all of that, the main goal, as it has been since this channel has started, is to make sure that we brew whatever we brew better. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at some of the odds and ends of the devices that I use. We'll talk about some of the kettles. We'll keep it relatively short and sweet, but I wanna make sure that you have an idea of all the little odds and ends that I'm using to make this possible. 
and then you'll get a better understanding of you know all of the hardware um, that I've been using throughout this entire process. Again, we won't go super in depth because most of those things are you know relatively self-explanatory in their use, and they will help you hopefully to brew whatever you brew better. Until then, I'll catch up with you later. Peace.